Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is JBuilds, and today I'm going to be showing you a couple of shaders and resource pack combinations. It's been a while since I've done one of these before, so I decided just to update myself as I get a ton of comments on my social medias asking me what shaders and texture packs I still use. So today I'm going to be showing you guys the list of shaders and texture packs that I use mostly. In this video, I'm going to be using a couple of themes, which is going to be the village, rain, nether, end, and so on. The shaders that I'm going to be using is Derivative, SwissBTJ 2.1, Nostalgia V5, Shrimple, Complementary Unbound, Bliss and Photon. I'm also going to be including another combination at the end of this video, so make sure you guys stay tuned. Anyways, I don't want to bore you guys too much, so let's get right into the video, and make sure you guys like and subscribe. The first texture pack that I'm going to be using is Patrick's 128 resolution. This is the texture pack that I was using in the intro. This texture pack has a couple of add-ons that you can use, which is the models, mobs, items, bonus and add-ons. And all these texture packs have different effects. The items changes the texture of the armor and tools and weapons. The mobs obviously change the look of the mobs and animals. The add-on one connects textures such as grass and blocks together so they blend in nicely. The model one adds little models into the blocks which is pretty cool. The bonus one is pretty interesting. You can use slabs to receive different types of blocks. And yeah, there's really nothing much I can say here. This texture pack is truly amazing. Probably my most used and my favorite texture pack out there. And you can use this texture pack with a couple of shaders like Derivative, Swiss PTGI or Nostalgia V5. Now this texture pack may be slightly high demanding on your PC. But you can get the 32 resolution and it still looks pretty good. The next texture pack that I'm going to be using is Legendary RT, and this one is also a very high quality texture pack, I would mostly use this one in modern builds as it definitely brings that modern touch. This one also has different resolutions, I'm using a 512 but it can go up to 1024 resolution. I love the POM in this texture pack, it definitely brings the blocks to life giving them a 3D look. And this one is another texture pack that I use a lot, especially with the modern builds that I use for my TikToks. On the website you can also find the legendary scientific mod, and with this mod you can definitely tell that this is not Minecraft anymore, giving it realistic furniture and just basically changing the entire Minecraft. And to be honest it runs pretty smoothly as well. And yeah, just overall I really do like this texture pack and I would highly recommend you guys try it out.
The next texture pack is Realist Craft and this texture pack just kind of gives us like this 3D look into the blocks of vanilla Minecraft so it doesn't really change the actual entire block look. It just kind of gives us like this like rough and 3D look in Minecraft so if you're just you know willing to play some single player or just some survival I would highly recommend this texture pack as it honestly does look pretty good and for the people that do love the default resource pack I would highly recommend trying this one out as it still kind of keeps the vanilla style but it just gives the block a little bit of a 3D look.
finally the last resource pack is modern arc and as the name says it's mostly for modern builds as well once again the blocks look absolutely amazing and i did use this one a couple of times on my videos as well and honestly before i didn't actually like it but the creator done so much work in improving this resource pack and i honestly changed my mind and i did use this one a couple of times and i do like it a lot and i will definitely start to use this texture pack more often Finally, the last combination is Stratum plus Continuum. Now, these two are kind of made for each other, so I'm not going to be using any different shaders with this texture pack, as really there's no need because these two will just work perfectly fine and it honestly looks amazing. There's also different resolution types. I'm going to be using 512, as the 1000 does impact my PC quite a bit, but it does look absolutely amazing when we zoom into blocks. I previously done a couple of videos on my channel regarding this combination, so make sure you guys check them out as well.
Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you guys did, drop a like and subscribe. I would highly appreciate it. And also, comment down below which is your favorite combination. And also, which combination I should have included in this video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.